Rightio, so I'm going to show you how to monitor the expiry of your SSL certificates using Zabbix. You might have many websites, like I do, and they've got SSL certificates and they, they expire at various times and it's quite hard to keep track of them, so I'm going to use Zabbix to do that. I'll show you how I do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run that run the checks from the agent that I've installed on the Zabbix server. Uh, when I installed Zabbix server, I also installed an agent on it, which means it shows up here in configuration hosts. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is go on to the um, Zabbix server itself and enable remote commands. So sudo nano dc Zabbix Savix agent conf scroll down until I find enable remote commands there it is and I'm going to set that to one save that and restart the service Okay, that's restarted. Next thing I'm going to do is create a script on that server that will use OpenSSL to to read the certificate and extract the date and compare the date with today's date and tell me how many days left before the certificate expires. So I'm going to put that in my home folder for Zabbix. So CD home Zabbix ls okay now okay sudo nano and I'm going to call it check ssl dot sh so and I've got a little script that I created early earlier that I can that I'll give you access to Okay, so what it's doing here is opening, calling open SSL server name dollar one. I will pass in an argument when I call this script. It will do several things and extract a value not after. That's where the date is. Then get that date, compare it with now date, and return divided by eighty six four hundred, which will tell me how many days are left before the certificate expires. Oh, X, yes. Now, if I was to run that, it would fail because it hasn't got X key permissions. So let's just, I'll just demonstrate that. Or check, well, it doesn't even find it. LS, there we go. Okay, so CH, I oh, will sudo CH mod A plus X check SSL.sh. Okay, Alice. Okay, it's green now. So if I do check s, sorry, check SSL, and I'll just do one of my websites. Twocoin.org says I've got 148 days left on that SSL. Let's try another one. SMS.sbcode.net. 60 days left on that SSL. And I do have one that has expired, and I'll show you what that looks like. Let's slide of auto wheel dot com minus twenty three. Anyway, let's create some items. So we'll look at those numbers. Back into Zabbix. Like I said, I was going to put on my run it from my Zabbix server. So item. Let's create an item, and I'm going to call it check. SSL for two coin dot org. I'm going to use Zabbix agent. The key is going to be system dot run. There it is, and the command is going to be the script I just created. So home Zabbix SSL dot sh. And then pass in the parameter to coin.org. 
and we can just check 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 that yes and it works okay so if we uh well i'm going to use this numeric float because unsigned isn't going to be good enough on this because that will fail when the day goes negatives for example example live auto wheel was minus 23 if i had numeric unsigned it would give me an error for that so i'm going to put it on numeric float right now just while i'm testing this i'm going to put it on 10 second interval and uh just create a new application called ssl check there we go and we'll add that okay check ssl 2 coinorg enabled let's go look at monitoring latest data and wait for it to come along there it is ssl check check ssl2coin.org and it's a 148 and i also get a graph option down here and we can look at the graph go only a little bit of data so far the last five minutes okay so 148 that number is 148 now let's add a, another one okay so down here in Savix server items i'm gonna just clone that clone that and it's going to be say another one live auto wheel This is the one where the SSL has already expired. So down here, my parameter, my argument, live auto wheel.com. And uh, once again, got 10 seconds. So I just test it. SSL check add. And I can continue just to add, you know, more and more and more of those. But checking it every 10 seconds is probably not ideal. I think I only need to check it once every day. Let's have a look at latest data. Nothing just yet. There we go. 140, uh, minus 23 for check SSL live auto will .com. Okay, configuration hosts. I have quite a lot of sites I can check not only the ones that i manage i can probably check uh zabbix.com or something items i'm going to just go into this one i'm going to clone it and i'm going to check the ssl certificate i'm going to change this to one day while i'm here check the ssl certificate for my zabbix server So that is zabbix.seanwazir.com. All right. I'll keep it for 90 days. SSL check add. And I'll also change that to one day. Update to coin. One day update. Okay, nine, one day interval, 90 day history, trends 365. Let's go and see what it says. If I, if I uh, look at latest data, nothing yet. Might not actually show up till tomorrow. Yeah, it looks like it's not going to show up till tomorrow so i'm going to just run a check now configuration hosts items for savix server check now okay go back monitoring latest data there we go 
SSL Zabbix server, I've got 48 days left. Well, that's not so bad. And I can look at those three in a graph. Display that as a graph, like so. I'm just going to go away and just add all the other websites that I've got, or perhaps even convert that to a, a template first, and then I'll and then I'll proceed to create a trigger triggers using templates. So I, I want to know when I want to know a few days beforehand when they're going to expire, or even maybe a week, I can get a warning. So. Okay. 